Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm actually doing a video because I get a lot of questions on how you transfer the drawings, the outlines that I make it's on my shop. I have tons of them. How do you transfer it to a canvas? Those of you that are asking me, I know this is a stupid question. It's not. It's not. It's okay not to know how to transfer an outline to canvas. Well, like, that's not knowledge we're supposed to know. So for those of you who are asking, um, I do have two other methods on my other videos, which I'm going to touch them at the end of this video. Well, here's a third method that you guys haven't seen me do. And some of you guys may be familiar with it, may not be familiar with it. Cricut. Transfer. Oh, this is one of mine. This, this, this right here, this is mine. <laughs> this is me. I made this outline, um, of course, amongst all the other lovely outlines that I make. You're gonna need heat transfer vinyl, guys. Canvas, of course, a Cricut heat press. And I'm gonna show you how to do this, and I even show you what my digital, how I get it from my digital outline from my app, which is Procreate. So let's get right into it. Voice over time, here's my illustration, all colored and beautiful in my Procreate app. I'm gonna take out the background, put it into my Cricut design space, and I'm gonna save it, and Cricut actually thickens the lines if it's too thin. I'm gonna go ahead and save it, put it under whatever name and I'm going to insert it into my space. Now, the canvas I'm using is a nine by 12. So I'm gonna put it maybe like an eight and a half by 11. You can go back and forth and see if it fits or whatever it turns out onto the final. Now, if you look here, you should have it with the mirror on because it is heat transfer vinyl that you are using. Thank me later. All right, so. Now I'm going to go ahead and have my little Cricut come up. It's ready. And I want to make it an easy weeding. So I will put deep point blade. Here I'm placing my little scrap vinyl so it looks uneven onto it. I'm going to put it into my machine. I'm going to open up my little 9x12 canvas here. It's a panel. It's not a flat surface canvas. I only use panels. That's what artists use. Either wood or panels. Wooden panels, canvas panels. Unwrap it, make sure it's nice. You can always gesso it beforehand. Um, here is the cut up, and I'm going to take it off the mat, and I'm going to start weeding with my weeding tool. And let's fast forward this. I mean, this generally, without fast forwarding, takes about 10 minutes for this outline. Other outlines, it could be shorter, but since I had so many little details into my butterfly, I had to take some time and this is why I wanted to do the deep point blades so that way um, if it was too light I don't have too much I don't have too much of a hard time weeding it there you have it the lines are cut enough so you can easily weed them out and i know the little small little ones on the end there the little typical some of them may not even come out it's no big deal and then of course i do it take out the background of the vinyl and that concludes that yeah, don't worry, a lot of vinyl was wasted, but it was for a good cause. <laughs> Alright, so make sure that you don't have any little scrap left of the vinyl that maybe it didn't fall off completely. Because it will transfer to canvas and you might have a big old dot, so make sure it looks... And you also align it to fit where you want it to go. And it's not going to stick a lot, but it'll stick just a little bit. And for the heat transfer, I use my Cricut press and I use about 45 seconds, but you can do it longer. And if you feel like it didn't press enough, put a cloth under it and then press it again for another 45 seconds. And you probably, if you're using a small one like mine, 
of course you're gonna need to place it at least twice in different spots here I am taking it off and as you can see some of it still not quite adhered to the canvas so go ahead and press it again for 45 seconds and you're done so I hope you guys enjoyed that video and hopefully soon I can show you guys how to do a sublimation method. I'm speaking into existence. I am getting a sublimation printer and I can make more of these lovelies. I want to have an easier way to if you're doing a spoon paint and you're like, oh, I don't want to do myself. I thought that I was going to receive this in the mail. No, it's a digital download. There's no way, let me let me say this, I'm sorry, I'm going off a tangent. There's no way I can get canvases, use my time, use vinyl, however I'm transferring, and give it to you for three or four dollars. There's no way. And then I have to ship it to you. So now you have to get the canvas. That three or four dollars is done. And then whatever platform you're selling it on, you get to their cut as well. For those of you that think that I'm sending it out for three or four dollars, I am not. I am sorry. It is a digital download. Um, my PNG, this is a PNG file that I use. All my images are PNG. And yes, I guess I would have to find a way to convert it to an SVG. Um, and you can also always find a way to convert to SVG as well. So, with that being said, my digital downloads go to your inbox and your purchases. Many of you lovely human beings know that, but there are some people that get confused. And what am I getting this in the mail? And I'm just sitting there like, even if I was to send the piece of paper, I still would have lost money. It's an instant download, guys. So yeah, if you want to see more of these, um, check them out in my Etsy shop. Every just all my places to find all my stuff is on my Instagram, Etsy shop, Facebook. But everything's really on my Etsy shop my site. Two years in the making under construction. <laughs> so um, if you want to see more videos like this, I can. And if you actually want to see me paint it. I can do that. If you actually want it, I can post it on my Etsy shop. Just leave me a comment. And if you came from this video, I will give you a discount. Hopefully it's not gone before you get there. But then there's always an option to make another one. So it's not like, you know, it's gonna be sold out. If you are wondering, well, how about the paint pots and the paint brushes? I have another video that you guys watched um, where I shipped out these large canvases. And I just show you how I put them in paint pots or, well, actually I use different ones now. So maybe I should update that. Oh, just so many updates. Oh my gosh, I just can't keep up with my own progress. Um, here's my Cricut. There it is. You're gonna need, of course, your Cricut. Heat press. Heat transfer vinyl. Canvas. Otherwise, I can make it for you. But I can't make it for you for three or four dollars. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to possibly do it by yourself. Also, my digital downloads, at least most of them, come with a colored picture. When, when it comes to art, I'm a big fan of butterfly wings, but I mean, I wouldn't be like, oh. But I feel like butterfly wings is always just a representation of metamorphosis and change and just being at a higher level than you were before. And that's why a lot of my pictures have butterfly wings, butterflies, you know, have the one with the girl with the butterfly on her head and right here. Just like, it just means a lot of changes, a lot of things going for the better. Cause you know, a caterpillar is like, mm, you know, and then they turn into this beautiful butterfly. And that's how life is, you know, you start off as a little being and now you have your wings, of course metaphorically for butterfly just for living um and they're just beautiful colorful bright and just everyone's just enamored by your aura um that's basically what they represent when i have butterfly like everything like a change is always gonna come sam cook no otis redding i was wrong that's otis redding um yeah so butterfly wings always mean change is gonna come and it's black history month so shout out to y'all 
I see a lot of y'all loving my couples one. So if you want to see me do a video of like transmitting canvas with the couples one, I can do that too. Um, but yeah, I mean that. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new. And if you've already been here, check out my shop, comment, see messages, suggestions. I'm always open for suggestions, feedback, just positive vibes only. Thanks. See you later.